My name is Asia Sampson and today on Baptism Overland we are installing wavy and jerry cans and the front runner double jerry can holder. Okay guys, I have a confession. I have gas. Um, I am actually really super excited to be getting these. I have been trying to buy jerry cans in black for the last two months. And no matter what website I went to, they were always out of stock. And even directly from Wavian, nobody was selling them on eBay except for some knockoffs. They were just, I just could never get my hands on it. So the moment that I got notified by Frontrunner that they were back in stock, I immediately jumped on the site, bought two, and then while I was there, decided to buy their double jerry can holder. Here in Florida, we're about to enter into hurricane season. Also, we are currently in what, the third week of COVID-19 um, uh, isolation, uh, you know, with the shelter at home order that uh, Florida has. Having extra fuel is just, you know, kind of a must around here, especially during hurricane seasons when people are buying fuel like crazy. We needed to run our generators. We needed to run our cars if we need things you know, to go somewhere. Um, it's always good to have extra fuel. And before, I've only had this little plastic red one um, that really had, what, two gallons. So I bought the big guys, 20 liter, five gallons each. Uh, I'm going to mount them on the top of my Jeep. I think um, it'll look really cool there. And the reason why I wanted black is because I kind of wanted to give it a low profile. I didn't want the red ones, the yellow ones or whatever that just stick out and says, hey, look at me, there's fuel up here. Um, I wanted the black ones so they kind of just match um, all the other stuff that's on my Jeep now so that it can kind of look blended in. Like I told you before, um, or if you've seen my other videos, you'll know that I installed the uh, Garvin Expedition roof rack. The Garvin Expedition roof rack um, versus front runner roof rack is that it does not have like a rail system. This would have been super easy with a front runner rail system. You basically just put it down, bolt in a couple of things, and you're up and running. But because of the way my roof rack is set up, I can't necessarily do that. If you were to look at the top of my roof rack, there really only is three mounting points that go from one side of the vehicle to the other. There's two bars there that are very, very close together, which you can kind of get a screw um, with some washers and then lock in whatever you needed to lock. The ones that go from the front of the vehicle to the back, those are not going to work because they're kind of too spread apart. So I know that I have to use one of those uh, east to west, I guess, mounting points. What they give you is your instructions, mounting hardware, and then obviously the, the plate. What's good about the plate, super flat, right? So basically I have, I can poke holes in this all I want and mount it to wherever I want. Here comes the problem though. If I were to just lock this in to those two close bars that I have on top and then put a bolt underneath there and screw this thing in, well, if somebody wanted to steal my fuel, they can just come into there, grab a wrench, unscrew the thing, and now they have the whole case. The one thing I don't want stolen out of my Jeep is fuel. Uh, you know, they can take the axe, they can take the shovel, they can take the lights, I mean, whatever. But it's the fuel, obviously, that I wouldn't want anyone to take. Good news is that the front runner system actually has a way that when this goes in, and then this goes in, there's a lock, uh, a padlock that you can put. This goes in here. No, it's this way. I don't know. I haven't read the instructions yet. But there's a padlock that goes in and you, you, you can lock in your fuel. And what's great about this is that it actually covers the opening of the jerry cans so that even if they couldn't take this out, they still couldn't open the lid and siphon fuel that way. So no matter what, it's pretty secure. So I have to figure out a way to secure this to the top of the roof rack. And what I planted, what I did was I got some um, carriage bolts. Now the carriage bolts here is round, so there's no way for somebody to put a, um, a uh, socket in here and turn it. And the, so and the carriage bolts obviously are squared. So the square should be able, because I went and looked for the right size, should fit in between that gap where the two uh, bars are very close together. What that'll do, this is gonna look you know, inappropriate. 
this goes in right there. The square on this uh, on this bolt is basically going to lock in place, right? So now it's going to hit flush underneath. No one can get to it. Then this will go on top of the roof rack, right? And then once it goes through the washer, lock it in. And once I put the jerry cans on this thing, the jerry cans will cover the bolts that are here. I think I only need to do one of those um, on this thing to prevent someone from taking it out. The rest, I'm probably going to use U-bolts to lock onto the bars that go from the front of the Jeep to the back. Before I actually put this together, first of all, before I actually assemble all this, I want to put this on my Jeep and see where I want to lay it, and then that way I can mark it up. Let me put this up there first, and let's see where it'll look the best, and we'll be right back. I decided to forego the U-bolt idea because I did not want to drill any more holes into the tray than I needed to. I also realized that the U-bolts would just prevent the jerry cans from sitting flat onto the tray. So instead I decided to cut a piece of flat bar of the same width and use the existing holes already on the tray. The bar will then act as a clamp that should secure the tray to the roof rack rails. All right guys, we are all fixed up here. Um, what I went ahead and did is I put the brackets together that actually holds the jerry cans onto the mount. Um, super simple, I'm not gonna get into it because basically you just follow the instructions that comes with the mount. Uh, super easy, it's just a couple of bolts at the top, a couple of bolts at the bottom, and then I went ahead and retrofitted it just to make sure that I got the clamps um, just right. It's easier to do it down here before I actually mount it to the vehicle. Uh, that's actually really great. You just hit these. See, they unlock. Then pulls up. Super simple. Take the cans off. And now I think I am. And now I think I'm ready to go ahead and mount this. I'm probably going to remove this just to make it easy. Let's go mount this to the Jeep and let's hope it all fits the way I'm hoping it does. All right. Alright guys, that is the end of the video. As you can see, it was super short, super quick, nothing crazy, which kind of scares me a little bit because every time I do mods to this Jeep, something always goes wrong. And for some reason, this just went really smoothly. All the bolts went in right where I wanted them to. It locked in the way it wanted to. Um, so now it's pretty on there solid. Um, I'm just gonna have to drive it around with actual fuel in the canisters to see how it holds up and I hope it just doesn't go flying off. Uh, you know, it might be different once I have 10 gallons of fuel on there. Which brings me to my next thing, which is 
I'm glad that I now have 10 gallons of fuel wherever I go. I'm gonna have to find a way to mark it or keep a record so that I know to rotate it so it doesn't go bad. I will add some fuel stabilizers um, to my fuel um, because I heard that with jerry cans, metal ones, um, they the fuel can actually last up to five years. I don't know if that's true, uh, but I probably won't hold fuel in there for that long anyway. Uh, but I'm just glad to know that now I have it. I love front runner stuff. They're not paying me to say this, but I just think it looked great. Um, you know, the way it all locks up and the way it just holds it up there, I think it looks clean um, and it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb too much. The only two gripes I have about the mount, um, the front runner uh, jerry can holders, is that they actually had us put the clasps to lock it in. They had, they had us put it in ourselves onto those bars that go over the jerry can. Which is all good, except that the bolts and the nuts are like super small and you have to find a way to kind of maneuver it into this little space and then squeeze it in there. Um, luckily for me, my fingers are pretty thin and long, you know, but even for me, it was still a little tough, uh, especially trying to get uh, a socket. Uh, wrench in there and trying to turn it uh, so it kept falling and the, the you know I kept losing it and I had to keep looking for it so just I don't know I wish they would have just pre-installed it and then had you make adjustments to fit your jerry cans elsewhere right because um, that part was a little bit of a pain um, the other thing was these are supposed to be lockable um, on the clasp there's holes where you can put a padlock through and lock it in except those holes are a bit small so for now I had to use like TSA luggage locks um, that have cable um, which really sucks because anybody with wire snippers uh, you know can just probably come in there and snip them off um, but at least it's still a deterrent I guess right and any sort of deterrent is better than none at all but overall um, it's good I'm just gonna have to look for a padlock um, that will actually fit that but that's it um, I hope you liked it please make sure you comment down below let me know if you liked it didn't like it or what else I could have done differently um, I also put links down there for all the stuff that I bought um, for this so that you can buy it yourself from Front Runner. Uh, I'm becoming a huge fan of their stuff just based off of this so I know I'll probably will get some more stuff from them. Please make sure you follow us, subscribe to this channel, uh, follow us on Instagram Baptism Overland. I'm putting it right here and I will see you at the next install. That's it. GoPro stop recording. GoPro stop recording. Dang it!